in its most um, uh, um, ex most fully expressed form, it actually changes the way power works and decision making works in an organization. So holacracy is a lot of things. Um, something that's, that it's not is it's it's not a flat organization. It's not where everybody does everything. Um, it's highly structured. You know, when you're doing Scrum properly, it might not look like everyone's uh, working in specific roles and using specific uh, processes to work with each other, but there's a lot of process in it. Um, and again, that falls to the background once you get good at it. But what, what Holacracy is, is it, it's a concrete framework for enabling autonomy and agility and purpose alignment throughout the organization. Um, so you can also think of it as like a business operating system uh, or a process that you use. And uh, there's an extensive rule book. It's called the Holacracy Constitution. So there's documentation that says exactly how, how to do it. And the way it looks day to day is it's a set of practices, rituals, and ways of relating to each other at work. It's a really challenging thing to do. You know, Agile is a really challenging thing to do it, when you go into an organization that isn't doing it and you're trying to change the way people think. Um, it's a fundamental shift. Holacracy goes one step further and actually shifts power. So yeah. if you're doing... There are a number of levels that Holacracy works on, but when, when in its most, um, uh, um, ex most fully expressed form, it actually changes the way power works and decision-making works in an organization um, and distributes authority. And that can be really intimidating for managers that are used to holding on to power or controlling through command and control. But it's also really liberating for people who are working on the edges of the organization and sensing things that are going on and not able to do anything with the tensions they're feeling, with the, the, the issues that they see come up as they're actually bumping into the world and doing work in the world. When you're using Holacracy, those, those people can actually process those tensions. That's really what it's all about.